I got your mains power. <laughs> Here we follow Zoe's mom as she goes to pick up the foil that no she meant to everything. Oh no, let's go to the video. Oh god, no. Oh, don't get over spray on your lamp. You're good. <laughs> it's almost here! It's almost here! Was that dramatic enough for everybody? Yay! Today on Arts and Crafts in the Desert with Zoe's mom, <laughs> we're making blackout panels for your windows! Yay! <clears throat> Using simple reflectics, which can be found at any Home Depot, painting one side black for the outside facing of the window and painting the inside white for the inside of the RV, giving you a near stealth appearance, making the windows just disappear. Why would you paint it? That's why. You can obviously see the non-painted material here, very standout-ish. This black though, literally melts into what you normally see in a dark RV. Uh, so that is what I'm going to be using. Now, on top of that, having black like that is going to help absorb the sunlight, keeping it a little bit warmer in the winter. You don't know what's behind here. The CIA could be behind here. The NSA could be behind here. Any group we don't know about could be behind there. The intrigue begins. <laughs> Ken's like, please God, no. This <laughs> 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 is the good shit. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Ew, ew. Skip that way from my camera. There's like, <laughs> stop it! We have an automatic transfer switch, which automatically switches off the power from the inverter system to the house power. We have a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter and a 60 amp solar charge controller and a couple boxes full of goodies. Oh, the biggest thing is wiring all that into the main electrical system without blowing anything up. And to do that, I enlisted the help of Kent West, um, a audio engineering aficionado, small electronics expert, and uh, one of the coolest guys I know. So uh, yeah, he's helped me get this all done. He has a plan. And he's pimping my RV like he used to do on Pit My Ride. But Pit My Ride don't do no RVs. Wait, did they ever do an RV? Oh, this is one was the bus. That was pretty cool. Wagon van. Civilizations ended. Drone pilots everywhere are being hunted. The great openness in the desert is the only escape. I am one of the last few remaining drone pilots in the United States. 
Other countries have gone offline. The internet's been down for decades. I have no idea if it's gonna get any better, but I know one thing for sure. I'm gonna rip a pack. This is a Bohemian Rhapsody um, VR experience. I want to give that to him. But... Pretty cool, huh? So, what do you have to say for all your fans out there? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm... that's pretty fucked. I don't know how to watch kids. I don't. Well, he had me, but I mean, see how I turned out. <laughs> This is like next level astronaut shit. Okay, now just shove your whole body up there blindly and start fucking poking at stuff and hope that you can actually hit it. Nope. I'm cold, I'm hungry. I want, I want this to work.
so I'm on my next GoPro camera. The two Hero 7s have now officially used up all the battery. Oh god. Oh. We've got 110. Oh, ooh. I wonder. <sighs> yeah! We got power! I know one thing is for sure. The batteries are... The fuck was that? <sighs> Question I have, is there a way for us to disconnect the converter and have it connect directly up to the generator to only turn on when the generator is running? A little bit of success, a little bit of a setback. Everything turns on, burger system works, and then the circuit breaker pops and the 50 amp uh, fuse essentially blows. But things work for a brief moment, things do turn on, things do get power. So we are definitely getting closer to getting this all sorted out. Right on, so we've got a new plan and a new day. We got a 1400 watts of solar, we've got to get up on the roof and a plan to get it all done. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Just no good batteries anymore. Seems legit. 
And one of the things I gotta do for the NDRS trip is be able to climb ladders, so. I'm prepping for Mars. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm totally not afraid of heights. Totally afraid of heights. Totally not afraid of heights. <laughs> totally, totally afraid of heights. Oh god. He's a fire starter! Angry fire starter! Kent going under the second panel, cleans the tip of his cock, laying it down as he pushes pressure onto the panel that he just laid down, evening out the uneven strokes that he laid, making it nice, smooth, and clean. He goes into the finish. It's looking nice and smooth as he makes contact with the roof, making sure that panel stays nice and good and secure. He moves over to the connectors, smoothing it out with his hand like he's a massage therapist being underpaid. Okay, so now that we have the panels up on the roof, the next step is going to be running the wiring for them, basically everything into two wires at 36 volts, and we're going to be running those cables, 8 gauge, from the top corner down through my closet and into the uh, power compartment down below. So that's going to be the next big step, and uh, possibly the nastiest. Hey, Mom. Hi. Tell the world who you are. I'm Mama Z. <laughs> no, she, don't, no, do not let her use that name. So, she's using the GoPro for the first time. We're gonna film something. Hopefully it doesn't go horribly. If you liked this video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Um, but, yeah, if, whatever. Watch the beautiful, beautiful horizon and enjoy the name of patrons. Still on? It's blinking red, but it's still on. Air face is kind of bad. Stop it! <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you? <laughs> you want me to? You'll cut it anyway, so. Come on. Okay. Just touch the back. And check out my Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ZoeFPV to help me out and the motorhome and keep things running. The money I get through Patreon really does help fund my content and keeps me going. So thank you all for being a part of that. And thank you to all my patrons that have been a part of making that possible. So thank you all and until next time. Woo!